Good morning. Good morning, YouTubers, Stock Twitters, Twitter itself. Today is Friday, Friday, September 25th. We hope you had a great week if you've been trading in the markets. We hope uh, whatever it is you're doing, you're getting it done. And whoever it is you're following or subscribing to is getting it done for you. If you're uh, working for the man, we hope that's getting done for you. But if it isn't, if you don't like who you're following or you're subscribing to or you're not getting it done and you don't like working for the man, maybe, maybe trading is an opportunity for you. But it isn't for everyone. No, not at all. We do not do tabletop displays and bring our technology to the sportsman show, the home show, and God knows the camping show. There's plenty of those in Florida, especially during the winter season. We don't do that. Because you see, trading in the markets is full of uncertainty. In most people, 99 point something don't like uncertainty they want certainty they basically want to be able to just park their money at the local bank and get you know seven or eight percent interest or ten percent interest on a certificate of deposit and call it a day well those days are long long gone those weren't just your daddy's markets or your daddy's environment they were your granddaddy's and then never coming back nope the value of the dollar is going down every day. So if you're sitting on cash and you're saying, you know, I'm not getting in that market. It's way too risky. I don't want to lose. And so you sit on your cash. Well, if you're getting a return of point something percent annually and the Federal Reserve is striving for two to three percent inflation if you believe their numbers inflation is probably really running probably closer to ten percent I don't think the cost of college is going down the cost of health care the cost of anything is going down so if you're sitting on cash realizing a point something percent return and the cost of living is on the low side 2% to 10% you are losing ground folks you're losing purchasing power put another way you are going to the poor house put another way like the three stooges you are going in no place fast I hate to be the bearer of bad news but that's why when you work, work, work and collect these things called dollars, you're not getting any closer to your destination. It's like being caught in a riptide. In a riptide. You know what a riptide is, right? It's that the wave action going back out to sea. When you go swimming over at Daytona Beach or Truro Beach or wherever your beach is, Malibu Beach and you get caught in it and it pulls you further and further from shore until you're so exhausted you drown that's the insidious nature of inflation the insidious nature of cash sitting still put another way it's the insidious nature of being lazy now the and lazy may be a tough term you may be working very very hard and trying to swim against that riptide of inflation but what do we know about being caught in a riptide you can just swim your ass off and still drown you have to play it smart right now I'm not a lifeguard but it's I believe, and I've never been caught in a riptide, either a financial one or one at the beach. But I believe, I believe, don't hold me to this, but I believe the current 
technique for getting out of a riptide is that you don't swim directly back to the beach against this river. You swim laterally. You swim the length of the beach to get out of that riptide and then slowly work your way to shore and get on with your life. Trading in the markets is a lot like that. What we're trying to do is to gain ground. And I don't think, I would say that probably 99% of traders have no clue. And I, and I use the term loosely. I'm not talking about professional serious traders. I'm talking about the Robin Hooders. They're in here and they, it's kind of like a, um, you know, the neighborhood betting pool or the dog track or the horse track. They're putting on a trade and, yay, I made some money. Yay, I made some money. That's, that's not where it's at. Trading for or trading for us is a business. We've got to make money not just on one trade, two trades. We've got to make money each and every day because we're swimming not against the tide, but we're swimming and getting ourselves away from the inflation tide. We're taking control over this part of our life. That's what trading is about. That's what it's about. And that's what we're doing. Now, there are techniques. There are techniques to get out of the riptide in the ocean. There are techniques to play golf, to shoot a basketball, to throw a football, to ride a horse. <laughs> you name it. Go fly fishing. There are techniques. Can you learn those techniques? Sure. But if you've never been on a horse, do you think you just want to go and saddle up? You know, do you even know how to get on the horse? Or do you think it's a better idea to maybe talk to somebody who's been on a horse before or who's gone fly fishing before or who has thrown a basketball before or thrown a football before or hit a golf club before and they've done so with proficiency? Or do you just want to, you know, follow the, the masses on Twitter and some guy tweeting out, I hit a golf ball 375 yards yesterday because I did this and I did that and I did this and I did that. <laughs> Is that what you would do? Are you going to follow him or her? Is that going to help you get any better? think you understand what we're saying. Now occasionally we do tweet out. We tweeted out this morning 23 minutes ago. 23 minutes ago we tweeted out this trade. Buying at 10,008. We actually said 890. We got a little five. We beat the machine by about five points. Now we don't tweet out trades with the expectation that people are going to take them. We don't tweet out trades to our members. We're not emailing them alerts. They get nothing from that. So if that's what you're looking for and that's what you're, you're subscribing to, well then good luck and have at it. We're teaching our members how to fish so that they can learn to read the technology and we share the technology with our members. How many people do that online? Zero. Zero. Haven't seen it yet. Now, people share a trend line or moving average, but it's nonsense. It's not going to get it done over the long term. So in just 24 minutes, our members who are sitting home who didn't even see my tweet, they're watching their swing machine and they most likely went long and they're up $1,200. 1200 bucks in 23 24 minutes. Guess what? Inflation 
is not going to drown their ass financially. No. I'm Bagadon at StockMarketCaddy.com. YouTube limits us to 10 minutes. If you want to chat further and you want to get serious about your trading, you want to develop a business without having to invest in a storefront, without property insurance, without employees, without health care insurance for your employees, without inventory, without having to deal with security, without having to deal with the COVID, with all of those issues. You just want to get a business started on your own, trading your own capital in doing so in a disciplined, objective, consistent way, day in and day out. We provide you a path. I'm not guaranteeing anybody that you can do this. I don't know. But we will provide you a path, namely through a program that we call the Q School. If you take the Q School for four weeks, you're going to answer the burning question that you want answered that you can't answer now and I can't answer it for you. What is that question? Can I do this? So the, the reality of it is, I don't know and nor do you. The only thing keeping you from doing that, the cost is... The price is not cheap, but the value is huge. It's probably fair. And if you're fearful in life, you're fearful. I probably can't help you, and it's probably not for you. As we started out, trading is uncertain. Life is uncertain. If you can learn to embrace in uncertainty in life you're going to be a hell of a lot better off than 99.99 percent of everybody else i'm bagadon stock market caddy give us a call if you're ready to take the bull by the horns